If you're a gadget geek, then you know what January means. The annual Consumer Electronics Show, or CES, takes place in Las Vegas and serves as a glimpse into the future of technology. More than 180,000 attendees from the tech industry came to see tomorrow's tech today. But with more than 4,000 companies, how do you know what's hot? Well, we can help. Hey everyone, welcome to Gear Up, the Watch Mojo series that looks at the latest in gadgets, gear, and games. I'm Mark Saltzman, and in this video, we're going to look at 10 cool products from the 2018 CES, and with a wide variety too, from multiple categories. Before we begin, we publish new videos every day, so be sure to subscribe for more great content. Alright, not listed in any particular order, number 1, The Wall. Samsung unveiled the world's first modular 146-inch TV. Yes, it's a massive micro-LED television that can be made bigger or smaller depending on your space by adding or removing panels as need be. The wall was a jaw-dropper at CES, but it wasn't just the size and modularity, but it was gorgeous too, as it was made up of self-emitting tiny LEDs, much smaller than current LEDs, which eliminates the need for a backlight or color filter. No word yet on when it'll debut or for how much, but it might be less for home use and more for businesses like storefronts. Samsung also unveiled an 8K TV at the show, coming in 2018. Number 2. Lenovo's Mirage Solo VR Headset so virtual reality didn't take off as fast as many predicted. Maybe because it was you have a ton of cables coming out of the back or you need to shove your phone in the front. And so no wonder there was a ton of buzz at CES about the first self-contained VR headset, which doesn't need a phone, PC, or video game console. It's called the Lenovo Mirage Solo, based on Google's Daydream. You can download games over Wi-Fi to the local 64 gigs of storage or snap in a micro SD card, or you can sideload games using USB. It ships with the remote and will be priced under $400 when it debuts this summer. Number 3. The Asus Novago Imagine a Windows laptop that lasts up to 22 hours between charges, and that's up to 22 hours of video streaming. That's probably two, three, or even four times longer than the battery life you're getting now with your current laptop. Powered by a Snapdragon 835 processor, the Asus Novago is the first in a new category of computers called AC PCs, or Always Connected Personal Computers. Not only does the Novago last long, but it can take a SIM card or eSIM for always on cellular connectivity, so you don't need to find a Wi-Fi hotspot. ASUS says the Novago, a 2-in-1 laptop-tablet hybrid, will cost about $799 when it debuts in the summer. Number 4. The JBL Link View There was no shortage of voice-enabled Amazon Alexa and Google Assistant-powered devices at CES, from TVs and cars to Wi-Fi routers and even shower heads. And one big category for Google was smart screens, to go up against the Amazon Echo Show. JBL had a great sounding one called the JBL Link View. It's an 8-inch touch display with a loudspeaker that lets you ask Google a question or give a command. And along with getting a human-like voice responding to you, you'll also see info on the screen, such as a multi-day weather forecast, recipes, photos, YouTube videos, album art for your streaming music, and more. In fact, you can make free Google Duo video calls on this thing, as it has a 5-megapixel camera. No price announced, but should be out by the summer. Number 5. Toyota's ePallet Concept All the big automakers were at the show, and one of the coolest concepts for the future of mobility was Toyota's ePallet, which shows different applications for autonomous cars. Not only will your self-driving vehicle in the future take you from point A to point B, but Toyota envisions these autonomous cars to be used for ride-sharing around the city and for delivering you food. And imagine one day a store that delivers products to you instead of the other way around. Toyota is teaming up with Uber, Pizza Hut, and Amazon to start, and the first live demonstrations of Toyota's ePallet will be at the Tokyo Olympics in 2020. Number 6. The Orcam MyEye 2.0 for blind and partially sighted people, the OrCam MyEye is an artificial vision device with a lightweight smart camera that instantly reads text aloud from any surface, plus it also recognizes faces, products, and money notes in real time. 
and it's packed into a tiny device the size of your finger. It magnetically attaches to the side of a pair of eyeglasses. Simply point to a menu, newspaper, medication, or a smartphone screen, and a human-like voice will read you the words instantly. As I mentioned, it also recognizes faces of people, so you won't forget who you met as their name will be recalled to you the next time you see them. While it costs $4,500 or less with a possible government subsidy, it does give independence to blind or partially sighted people. Number 7. Sony's Ibo While it's only available in Japan, Sony is back with its Ibo robotic dog, and it's light years ahead of the first Ibo that made its debut almost 20 years ago, as you can imagine. With advanced engineering for fluid movement, more sensors on its body, and artificial intelligence, including more personality, it was a huge hit at CES this year. There's life in those OLED eyes, and two cameras in its nose and near its tail to help identify family members and map your home environment. It costs $1,800, so not cheap, but it was one of the more fun things to play with at this show. Number 8 for Lazy Types, the Forward X CX-1 Smart Suitcase. So imagine a carry-on suitcase that follows you through an airport. That's what we're looking at here from Forward X. It's called the CX-1 and has cameras and sensors on it to follow you around. We tried to trick it and it was pretty good for the most part, but not perfect. And yes, if someone tried to take off with this self-driving bag, there's a loud decibel alarm that will sound. The Chinese company says it'll be available this summer, but no price has been confirmed just yet. Number 9. The LG InstaView Think Fridge LG is no stranger to smart appliances, and the 2018 CES showcased a few of them, including stovetops, dishwashers, washers and dryers. But it was the new InstaView refrigerator that caught my eye, featuring a 29-inch touchscreen that becomes transparent if users knock on it twice. You can draw notes for the family on the screen, place virtual stickers, pull up recipes, and read expiration dates on products to warn you of best before dates. Or you can talk to it using Amazon Alexa. There's also a wide-angle camera in the fridge that will let you remotely view what's inside via an app on your smartphone. While you're out at the supermarket, you can check to see if you're out of milk or eggs. And number 10, the Play Impossible Game Ball. How do you fight the growing epidemic of obesity with kids and adults who would rather play with digital devices than run around? Well, the answer may lie in the winner of a 2018 CES competition called Last Gadget Standing. The Play Impossible Game Ball is an active gaming system for indoors or outdoors. It resembles a regular inflatable rubber ball, but it's embedded with patent-pending sensor technology. It connects that play ball to an app via Bluetooth. You can connect, compete, and challenge your ball skills with multiple mini-games, whether you want to play by yourself or with friends. When Game Ball runs low on juice, refuel in 20 seconds with the Rapid Charger for another hour of fun. Price is $99 and available now. Hey, thanks for watching Gear Up. I'm Mark Saltzman. Let us know in the comments section what CES gadgets you think we left out, or what you'd like to see more of going forward. And for more Techtastic lists, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. Ciao for now. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from WatchMojo and subscribe for new videos every day.